हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वन मोर टाइम ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर नीलेश एडवाइस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट द न्यूमोकोकल वैक्सीन न्यूमोकोकल वैक्सीन इज़ वन ऑफ द कॉमनेस्ट वैक्सीन विच इज़ इन द मैंडेटरी वैक्सीन ग्रुप गिवन ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड हाउ इट इज़ गिवन वेन इट इज़ गिवन वॉट इज द शेड्यूल ऑफ द वैक्सीन हाउ मेनी डोजिज आर देयर फॉर दिस वैक्सीन is there any side effect of this vaccine which other disease can we get protected from this vaccine all these things we are going to discuss today in this video many parents has the confusion about the pneumococcal vaccine because the vaccine schedule is different in different countries so we will discuss something on that aspect as well thank you हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द न्यूमोकोकल वैक्सीन मैनी पीपल प्रोनाउंस इट एज ए न्यूमोनिया वैक्सीन बट दैट इज अ रॉन्ग इन्फॉर्मेशन इट इज न्यूमोकोकल वैक्सीन न्यूमोकोकल वैक्सीन मीन्स देर इज अ बैक्टीरिया नोन एज न्यूमोकोकस दिस न्यूमोकोकस बैक्टीरिया कॉजिंग लॉट ऑफ इलनेस इन द चिल्ड्रन स्पेसिफिकली इन लेस देन फाइव ईयर ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन what which are the infection the pneumococcus can cause the common one is the pneumonia so the pneumococcus can cause a pneumonia but not only pneumonia it can cause it can cause other illnesses like ear infection pneumococcal ear infection streptococcus pneumonia ear infection meningitis meningitis means brain fever where the children has high grade fever vomiting headache excessive irritability and sometimes a seizure as well meningitis is very severe illness so pneumococcus bacteria can cause this type of the infection there are many other infection also pneumococcus can cause which are related to the skin and the kidneys as well but mainly these are the three infections ear infections pneumonia meningitis those are severe in the nature and can kill the child that's why we have the vaccine for the pneumococcus if you look at the burden of the childhood illnesses pneumonia comes into the almost top 3 or 5 illnesses there are many death because of the pneumonia pneumonia gastroenteritis means diarrhea and vomiting two are the major cause of death in the children luckily we have the vaccine one is rotavirus vaccine which we have discussed in the previous video and for the pneumococcal pneumonia the pneumococcus uh, vaccine is available now this vaccine is a injectable vaccine it is given to the child at 2 month Four month and six month. In certain developing countries, where the children get infected earlier, it can be given at six weeks of age, ten weeks of age, and fourteen weeks of age. So, dominantly, this vaccine is under the one year of the age group. Generally, this vaccine is given when you are giving the other vaccination, like the DTP vaccinations or the rotavirus vaccination. So, if we will see collectively. at 6 weeks or 2 month of the age we have the two injectable vaccine uh, one is this dtp and the combination vaccine and another one is this pneumococcus vaccine and one oral vaccine that is a rotavirus vaccine which can be rotatec or the rotarix so friends pneumococcus i have discussed and the what the pneumococcus can cause into the body that we have discussed and that's why we have the vaccine known as a pneumococcal vaccine now in certain countries the dosage schedule of the pneumococcus vaccine is 3 plus 1 means three doses you will give as a primary vaccination so which is at 6 weeks 10 week 14 weeks of age or 2 month 4 month or 6 month of age and there is a one more dose fourth dose booster dose at 18 month of age or the 15 month of age many countries has the different schedule 
so this is known as 3 plus 1 schedule so 3 dose as a primary uh, vaccination and 1 dose as a booster dose so booster dose can be given at 15 month of age also as well as the 18 month of the age also and now with the 18 month of the age you have the another vaccine like the dtp hib polio and pneumococcal vaccine as per the who guideline most of the places it is recommended as 3 plus 0 means only 3 doses there is no booster doses there are many studies which is saying that if you will give the 3 dose of the pneumococcal vaccine the child develops enough immunity so many countries has dropped the fourth dose of the pneumococcal vaccine now this is an injectable vaccine and this is given into the muscles in the children we prefer to give the intramuscular injection or the injection in the muscles over the thigh in the middle of the thigh we are giving this injection what are the side effects of uh, this vaccine mainly the pain at the injection site the pneumococcus vaccine is little painful there might be pain when the injection was given or there might be the swelling within next 24 to 48 hours the child will find difficulty in moving the limb or child is crying while he moves that limb fever almost all the vaccine has uh, one common adverse reaction or the side effect which is fever fever may reach up to 38 or 39 degrees centigrade high grade fever can come you have to give just the paracetamol on an average pneumococcal vaccine is very well tolerated vaccine almost all the children tolerates it very well mild low grade fever can be there in any children now in the pneumococcal vaccine if you know the history the pneumococcal are of the three types now one is a seven valent vaccine then it was 10 valent vaccine and now we are using the 13 valent vaccine the first vaccine which came it was a 7 valent vaccine pcv7 which is now not available at most of the places after that the 10 valent vaccine means the pneumococcus has the various subtypes like uh, so 7 valent vaccine has the uh, protection from the 7th type of the pneumococcus after that it came 10 valent vaccine that is came as a brand as a Synflorix. Synflorix protects again against 10 subtype of the pneumococcus bacteria and now we are using pneumococcus 13 or the Prevenar 13 which protects against 13 subtype of the pneumococcus bacteria and there are some cross protection from the other types as well. So overall if we will see the pneumococcal 13 vaccine protects you from the 13 subtype of the pneumococcus bacteria that means you are getting protected from the 13 type of the infection it can be a pneumococcal infection so on an average if you will see the children has the recurrent running nose cough cold episodes the pneumococcus can be one of that so if you will see overall by the vaccination we are able to um, control the seriousness of the pneumococcus vaccine and on an average we are able to save more children because pneumonia is the major killer of the children all over the world so as my recommendation is always there that all the vaccinations are helpful to the patient they might develop some or other side effects like the some fever some pain at the injection site but overall serious side effects are very very less so i hope uh, i have discussed more about the pneumococcal vaccine and now onwards don't say it is a pneumonia vaccine but this is a pneumococcal vaccine or the pneumococcus vaccine it is of the three doses vaccine uh, uh, the doses schedule is two month four month or six month of age or it can be the six weeks ten weeks fourteen weeks of age certain country there is a booster dose certain country there is a no booster dose some countries give the vaccine as a pneumococcal 10 valent or like the synflorix some countries give it as a 13 valent like the prevenar 13 but 
whether to use 10 valent or 13 valent based on the so many criteria that what country has adopted and based on that they decide. And one of the major criteria is a cost factor, population factor and how much this disease is prevalent in their country. So pneumococcal vaccine is a very important vaccine for the less than 5 year old of the children. Now there is another type of the pneumococcal vaccine known as pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine which is known as PSV23 which is mainly used in a different group of the patient and over the age of the 18 years. It is mainly used in the geriatric age group. Some children or the older children who has the some surgery for the spleen, who has some spleen disorder, who has some respiratory disorder. In those children we are giving this pneumococcal 23 valent vaccine means it is getting protected from the 23 different subtypes of the pneumococcus. That we will discuss sometime maybe in the later why this pneumococcal 13 valent vaccine is there which who are the candidate eligible candidate for the pneumococcal 23 valent vaccine. I hope I have cleared uh, many queries related to the pneumococcal vaccine and I strongly recommend to give the pneumococcal vaccine. Share this video with your friends, parents, it will help to them also and if you are first time on my youtube channel subscribe as well. Thank you very much.